It's finally that time of year, springtime, where the big bass come out and play. In this video, we're catching giant bass in small ponds while bed fishing. It was an absolute grind, but we stayed positive and were very patient. And boy, did we catch what we were here for. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh my God. Dude, she's giant. She's giant. So sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, because this is going to be good. Also, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, March 25th through the 26th, I'm having a fan meetup at the Bassmaster Classic at the Knoxville Convention Center in Tennessee. I want to see y'all there, so make sure you come out and say, hey, I will be at the mock booth next to the Striking and Lose booth from 12 to 3 p.m. on Saturday and 11 to 1 p.m. on Sunday. Please come out and say what's up. It's going to be an awesome time. Now, let's hop into this video and catch some giant bass. We're out at our first pond today. Got me a little Texas rig, 3 8 ounce, 4 extra rod gap hook. Got a summer crawl, rage crawl, which is one of my favorite colors. Rig this puppy up real quick and get to work. I have a feeling today that a lot of these bass are gonna be pushed up fairly shallow, and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. I haven't been pond fishing in a hot minute, guys. It's been a, it's been a good second. So I really don't know what to expect today. You know, I'm hoping these fish are gonna be pushed up shallow. That's what I'm predicting. We have had a little bit of cold weather blow in. It's actually 50 degrees right now. It was really hot last week. I got a fish first cast. No way, bro. No freaking shot. It's, it's not even big, not even big. But the fact that I just, bro, <laughs> no way we just smoked one on our first cast. If we know anything, first cast bass is either the best thing in the world or it can come back to haunt us, okay? But I'm not gonna let it haunt us today because we're gonna smoke them. We have to, we don't have a choice. Thank you, buddy. Well, maybe they're pushed up shallow. Yes, maybe they're up shallow. That wasn't a big one, so it doesn't tell us much, but he was up shallow. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. And I don't know if you guys saw what I was doing there, but I was adjusting my drag. I was playing around, I was being really slow. Maybe that's a key for today's success. Slow it down, don't move it too much. Let's see if we can get some bites. I want to see some big ones. This is a place in here that, you know, usually you won't catch too many. You know, it's not, you're not going to have a ton of bites. So for us to slam one right there, just like that, that feels good. Dude, no way. Bro, 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 it's like a cast. Dude, they're, dude, they're freaking pushed up, boys. This is about to be crazy, man. I'm so excited, dude. I'm so excited. My question is where are the females? Cause that was another one. That was a little bit bigger than the first one. That might've been a two pounder if we're lucky. Oh gosh, what's happening? Fun fact, we filmed one or two videos in the past, I'd say two years out here, probably, probably three videos realistically. And it's been probably two and a half years since I've caught a bass in this corner. If that gives you guys any perspective on why I'm so freaking pumped right now, boys. I'm freaking on fire, man. I'm on fire. By the way, if you guys want to check out the Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose combos, they're available on my website, kickingtheirbass.com. A lot of y'all have been asking about the green rods. I almost say it in every video, but yeah, kickingtheirbass.com. Link will be down below. I appreciate everybody who supports me and the brand. You guys are awesome. Let's try this grass edge here. Look like one swam off that bank. Big. Dust cloud, yeah, 100%. One definitely swam off right before we walked up here. That's one thing we got to pay attention to. It's a little chilly in the shade, guys. It's a little dimply. I probably could have wore a hoodie out. I walked outside. I'm like, you know what? I really want to be in short sleeves, and I kind of regret it. It's just a little nipply. It's a tiny bit. Dude, he had me right away. 
thought there was going to be one on that corner. It looked really good. He had me right when that bait hit the water. I didn't even have to pop it and nothing. Let's get back in there. Let's see. Right there. So this is what I'm excited for. Last year, I caught a ton of bedfish down this little stretch. And it was unbelievable. It was like the smallest fish that we were hooking was like three and a half, four pounds, which was crazy. I think the biggest one was like a little above six and we lost a few that were around that same size, if not seven. And it was just a crazy time, man. I mean, they were just bedding so good and it was right down this little stretch with the grass. So kind of pumped about fishing this. There's also another side, another area on the other side of this pond. I think we're gonna have some good bites at. But if they're on this, it's gonna be a day, I'm gonna tell you. He just ate it. Holy cow. First cast down this bank. Yeah, he just ate it, yep. Well, that sucks. That was a small one though, I could see his body. All I was doing, I was reeling this rage crawl just for that fish to show himself. And then I went right back in there with more of a strategic cast right where he was at. All right, boys, let's cross down for a minute. So we have been fishing for a hot minute and I don't really know what's going on. I, <laughs> I, I think uh, most of those big bass are already pushed off. I think there's just a lot of small bass that have pushed back up and uh, I don't know, they're, they're just, I saw those fish on the bank where we first, when we first started fishing and since then, I mean, I really haven't seen much. So I'm actually going to cut off this Texas rig and I'm going to put on a chatter donk just so we can cover water and not like waste a bunch of time. This chatter donk, I can kind of fan cast it walk and cast and figure out at least you know if these fish are on a certain section of the pond and then if they're not wanting to eat this we can just tie on the texas rig and then we know where the fish are Feel it right. Yep. Dude, that's big. He ain't even that big. What? He just choked that. <laughs> Dude, look at how he ate that. That is a great sign. Our first bite on the chatter donk. And he freaking just demolishes it. Why did that fish look so big? Like had him had him on his side flopping. He looked like he was three or four pounds. Not a big one. But we're still hunting for these giants. Thank you for biting, buddy. I had good hopes on that that cast right there. I really thought there was going to be one. Might be another though. Dang, I actually thought I had a good solid fish there and it ended up being a small one. I think there's more down this bank. So the only problem with what we just did there is I made too far of a cast, in my opinion. I made too far of a cast. I hooked that fish way out there. He was splashing on top of the water until I got him to the bank. So, you know, any fish that might have been five foot in front of me, like right here, 10 foot in front of me, it, it might be hard for, for them to bite now. You know, they just saw their buddy get jacked in the jaw and thrown on top of the water about 20 foot. So, you know, that's something to think about when you guys are throwing parallel on the bank is the fish a little closer, especially this time of year. You know, springtime, like, you don't want to miss some of these opportunities. You know, you could throw out and hook a dang one pounder like I just did, and there actually be a 10 pounder three foot in front of you that you didn't see. But now he's not going to bite because, you know, that fish is flopping on top of him. So that's something I like to pay attention to, and I just uh, kind of messed up there. But who knows? There might, might have not been a fish close to us, so it doesn't matter. Hoping this pocket's got a few more fish. It's crazy. You'd think there'd be more than one. Bro, what? I'm telling you, by the time that bait was on, dude, that was crazy. He's tiny. Where is, where are the big ones, man? The last couple times I've came out here, dude, it's all freaking five, six pounders, I swear. You guys are just Twinkies. 
That bait hit the water and I didn't even, that, that was the quickest I've had a fish bite my lure. We gotta do something about these small bass. It just might be that time, man. You know, that cold front pushed through, them big girls pulled off the bank. Hey, it can happen. What is up? With you freaking small guys, man. Okay, this is the first time I've ever seen this. Let me show y'all what's going on with his gill. Look at that right there. You see that little, little sharp piece on his gill? Oh, <laughs> my bad. Now we gave him a concussion. There we go. Oh my gosh, he did the same thing as that one in the corner. You're not big. I thought he was decent, but geez, that bite was cool though. I'm talking, I hit next to that grass, guys. Instantly had it. <laughs> That's not a bad fish though. Not a bad fish at all. Thank you, buddy, for biting. You're a step closer. And I broke my skunk from not catching a fish in this pocket in three years. I had a feeling. <laughs> Here we go. That has to be some good luck right there. That bass right there biting us on our first grass patch, heading back into his pocket. All right, here we go, here we go. What in the world is that? It's definitely a snapping turtle. Holy smokes, that's a freaking hog. I thought it was a dead one. <laughs> that's a big snapping turtle. Holy moly. Good thing snapping turtles don't like jump out of the water at you. Maybe they gator wood or something. I, I will say I need to be careful in here because I did see a dead gator here this year at the beginning of the year There was a dead gator in this pond So that is not something we want to mess with Have you seen a gator? What's that? No, but I did see one a couple months ago Really? It was probably three months back. I saw like one that was dead. They came and got that one. I saw a snapping turtle, but no gators. Well, I'll look out for them. Thank you. <laughs> Boys, can people hear everything I'm saying? Am I that loud? Maybe I am that loud. Why? That lady was in her house. And she came out asking about a gator, so she obviously knew I said something about a gator. I mean, I know sound travels fast on water. And it can kind of amplify your voice. Definitely, that's a thing. But I don't know how she heard me. To be honest, I thought it was a Karen coming out. I really thought it was a Karen about to just... Oh, I just got a drill right there. Yeah, I thought it was a clearing about to like let me have it. <laughs> I thought it was about to happen. And I've been fishing out here for seven years. I mean, this, this ain't nothing new to me. She like walked down so fast. I thought she was ready to pounce on me, boys. Like, I thought it was one of the moments. It just it looked amazing. But she ended up being a really nice lady. So that's, that's awesome. We're going to have to call it on this pond and go to a different one. Because this is not panning out these big ones are not pulled up the fish that are pulled up are small nothing really makes sense you can't catch a fish doing anything else but throwing at the bank i don't know i don't really like how it's fishing right now so we're gonna go travel around to another area and see if we can locate some big ones that is the whole plan for today's video you guys know we're hunting for those giants so we're gonna go somewhere else and maybe they're pushed up you know some of the big ones these are the craziest sprinklers I've ever seen, man. I might have to fight it. Not only am I a little chilly right now, I gotta go through that. I gotta, literally gotta go through the freaking water pit. Well, hopefully we don't get too wet. Pond number two, we just got out to this little small pond. Let's hope that the big ones are biting in this one. Here we go. Oh no, the sprinkler came on behind us. 
Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Now he's gonna fall in, dude. I'm so distracted. Alright, we'll just let him go there. <laughs> what a mess, dude. What a freaking mess. I just got sprayed by that sprinkler. Well, we got one, boys. <laughs> that was not a bad one. That was like a two and a half pounder. I'll take, I'll take those, man. I will take those. At least we got one to bite in here. That's a good sign. It's, all right, I'm getting sprayed. Don't do it, dude. I'm cold, man. Come on. This is just, no. The water smells so bad, too. I don't know where this water's coming from. Oh, my God. That water stinks, bro. Ugh. No, she wasn't. She's telling you you couldn't fish? No, I thought she was going to, but she just said, uh, did you see any alligators? Oh. Yeah. No, I thought because she There are a few that are, that are just really pains in the ass. Yeah, yeah. So you keep right on fishing. Uh, okay, man, thank you. Know, you, know, you know, quit fishing. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate it, man. You have a good day. That's funny, boys. That is funny. I told him she was just talking about the alligator. She did come out like she was going to yell at me about fishing, but I guess he, he goes out there and knows some people out there that give people a hard time. That's funny. He's like, you just keep fishing. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's awesome. And to be fair and to clarify this, guys, you know, I'm out here on a day where these people aren't golfing. So, like, I, I don't come out here when people are golfing. I don't come out here to get in anybody's way. You know, I'm always super respectful to everybody out here. You know, I, I usually, I've never had a problem, you know, within seven, eight years of fishing. So a couple, a couple times, just a few, but other than that, people have been pretty cool out here. That guy was really nice though. I couldn't tell if he was coming up to me either about to get mad. I didn't know he was walking up like he was. I think he was just exercising, but he was really nice. Today's been an eventful day, guys. We've had multiple people come up to us and they didn't care about us fishing which was awesome that was pretty cool and then the whole sprinkler fest i don't know what's up with that you know i should have wore a hoodie i'd be a little more comfortable today i mean it's not cold but i mean it's 50 degrees and a little windy you know if you're getting wet by water it's gonna be a little chilly with the wind hitting on you i think right now i just checked it was it was 52 out so it's getting it's getting a little warmer but it's still a little nipply especially with that wind hitting you to be in short sleeves and some shorts all right well let's go over to this other pond let me ask you guys something you know how we caught that first bass on the first cast do you think it was bad luck do you, do you think we're just getting the end of the stick with that first bass catch or first cast catch i don't know i i still have high hopes i think we just got to keep putting our head down and keep fishing we might have to adjust, you know, we might have to go back to the car and not throw the chatter donk, sadly. You know, maybe, who knows, maybe we're about to smoke them in this pond. Maybe this one's a little different. Let's see what we got. The water's so dang clear for what it's been. The water has not been this clear the last couple times I came out here. It is finally clearing up and it is looking good, man. Keep hitting new areas, learning new things out, out of every pond that we hit. Piecing together some sort of pattern for today. Gotta stay positive. You gotta stay confident and that's how you catch a lot of fish guys being positive and staying confident that's it another thing that can be causing them not to eat this chatter donk is that this water's cleared up a ton you know we don't really have any wind on the water right now it's super gin clear i got one okay another twinkie I, makes no sense we're gonna accept it I don't know. That could be a reason why they're not biting it that good. But then again, I just caught one. That's not what I said. Patience and confidence, baby. There is like hardly any cover in this pond. And that tree puts off a lot of cover. There used to be a bunch of trees that lined the bank. But they're not here anymore. I think we're about to get drilled. There we go. I knew they were up there. We had to get really close and work that thing really slow. We got one to eat. Another small one. Another little male bass. Okay. 
Thank you, buddy, for biting. Appreciate it. Missed it slightly. Oh, boys, that's a big one. That's a big one right there. That's what we've been waiting for. Bro, I have him hooked weird. He feels so odd. Oh, that's a big one, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Dude, that's a freaking monster. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. That's a giant, dude. Let's go, man. Let's freaking go. I don't think I've caught one this big in this pond yet. The one across, I've caught some bigger than that, but that's a freaking nice one, boys. That's what we're doing. What a fish right there. Fishing for giants today. And we finally got us a freaking big one. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Thank you for biting, baby. I knew instantly. It was a nice four pounder, man. That's what we needed after catching them small ones. He just had it on the fall. Thank you, baby. Oh man, let's go, boys. Fishing for giants today. We stayed positive. Oh, we kept our confidence. We were patient. And boom, we got a big one. That's what it's all about right there. Now it's time for us to capitalize and start catching some more. Holy cow, let's go, man. So I have an idea as something else that we can try to catch some of these big ones. So the first pond that we fished, we noticed that there was a lot of males pushed up, possibly on bed. I want to say they were on bed. The water's just so stained that it's hard to tell. But with how they were biting and how they were taking it off, it seems like they were on bed. So what we can do is we can go back to the original pond in hopes that the females pushed up. So one thing that you'll notice during the springtime or, or during, during when they're bed fishing, it already happened to me once this year. I went around this whole lake, was only catching male bass, and then about four hours goes by and all the females pulled up and we just started catching five, six, seven pounders like that. Even nine pounders, that video's dropping soon. But it was insane. So that's one thing that we can check out. So I think I'm gonna head back to the first spot that we went to and maybe some of the big girls have pulled up all right boys we're back well, let's see if fish are here not only if the fish are here but if the females are here with them of course i'm gonna go for that one i lost earlier <laughs> oh he just hammered me he's got it it's a male oh god i was about to say if that was a female i would lose my mind i missed you earlier buddy and i came back for you i'm gonna put you right back in the water don't you worry that was quick guys <laughs> Just like just like last time. Maybe we should have stayed here all day. I thought I was smart and uh, thought I'd find some more fish, but pretty guy. I had to come back for you. I missed you earlier. You outsmarted me, so I applaud you for that. But thank you for biting, buddy. Here he goes. Well, we got him that time. It's a little tiny, dude. Maybe there's a female pushed up. Just maybe. Not all of these might not have females, too. You know, there might be few that pushed up i got high hopes for it man we're later in the day now you know there's a good possibility that that could happen man it really could oh <gasps> guys that was a monster no freaking shot no shot all right, all right, that's a good thing, that's a good thing. Maybe the big girls are up. Jeez, that, that one had some kickback on it right there. That wasn't no little fish. If I catch a small one right here, it's just the male. That was a female, 100%. I can't believe I missed her. I would have been better off just reeling my bait out of her mouth and throwing back in there than just missing her like that. Dude, are you serious? Yeah, this is, this is on. What I was talking about is last year, I freaking smoked like three to seven pounders down this bank. Like, it was insane. It's almost every cast. So maybe we need to spend some time on this. Dude, she got it. Oh, it was a, guys, it was a freaking pig. It was a freaking pig, dude. Oh my gosh. That was a giant. I freaking missed her, dude. What am I doing, man? I'm giving up our big fish. Like, they're just not eating it all the way. Like I said, they're moving it on bed, but the big girls pushed up, man. We were right. See, if I would have went like this before, I probably would have ate it. 
at it. It's a nice one. <clears throat> there we go. Not a big one, another male. Throw him back in. Try to catch another. We're plucking out these bass, man. We're plucking them out. Right here on this point looks so juicy. Let's see if we got something going on here. Looks like there should be one there, realistically. Oh, dude, the boil, the boil. I had it over the branch. Here, you should eat it, guys. You should eat it. Here we go, here we go. Dude, please eat. He hammered me. Dude, that is a big fish. The way he just hit this thing, oh my gosh. Here we go, boys, this is it. I had this, see how it's dangling over the branch here? You guys can see my lines just kind of dangling there. And I went like this, and he came up behind it, had his nose all the way up on the bait. <laughs> that fish was so big, dude. I snapped it right off, dude. I literally hit the water. I saw a, a big boil. Gosh. Crazy thing is, guys, I spooled this up this morning, and I didn't have any more 17 pound. I put 15 on. I'm like, you know, hopefully that don't mess us up today. That was that fish was big. Okay, are you gonna bite again? Or did I stick you good and so you're not? Probably not. I see him boil. You see, you see how there's little rings. There's a male. listen guys i know we're having a rough time with these big fish but i'll just tell you the springtime you can't beat it and this has been so much fun man it has been so much fun hunting these fish today another good thing that's a big one that's a big one oh my god Dude, she's giant. She's giant. This is her. This is her. Stay on, baby. Stay on, baby. Oh, gosh, you better hurt. <laughs> yeah. Look at that tank, boys. Oh, that's the that's the one. Oh, that's the one. Almost a six pounder. Oh, right in the corner of the mouth. Oh, you gotta love it. You gotta love it, boys. <laughs> we landed a giant, man. Oh boy, look at that beast. Whoo, that's a big in. That's a big in. We're getting her back in the water, man. That's the one I missed, guys. That's the one I freaking missed. Oh yeah. <laughs> Listen, that's what we were talking about earlier. Patience and confidence, baby. Patience and confidence. And some positivity mixed in there, man. Gosh, and that's what it gets you. Mm. Didn't plan on staying out here all day. But that made it worth it right there. Fighting through all that. Missing those giants. And redeeming ourselves. Gosh.